die Greenbelts die verdwijnen. Het houdt op te bestaan. Die steden rukken op en die steden drukken die Greenbelts weg. En dan heb je nog een veel grotere impact daarbovenop. En dat zijn die enorme klimaatveranderingen. Farming isn't as viable as it used to be. Effectively the mantra is go to scale or leave, get out. You can't bring food 2,000 miles in a truck and still have it come to you tasting great. We've really corrupted our food supply chain. If there's only 10% of the food is from Beijing itself, it's, it's dangerous. It's not sustainable at all. We had 1.9 million people in 1951. Today we're at about 630,000. You don't build a city without the resources needed to feed the city. It will be the century of the cities. Every three months, a new city of nine million people will arise. And all those people need clean air, and clean water, of course, and also sufficient food. Hypertension, diabetes, heart disease, and actually, increasingly, in children, I'm seeing type 2 diabetes, elevated blood pressures, high cholesterol. So what's the plan? What is the plan? Our goal is to really change the way the world eats. Bring back the food supply to the local communities, to the cities, to the areas where people reside. To see something begin to grow and then at the end you actually see the end product of something that you help produce is, is fulfilling. So I like to think it sort of sets a pathway to say, oh, we don't have to only talk about money, but what about all those other things that give us our social license to operate, our impact on communities and farmland? I call it an agrihood. Uh, so it's a neighborhood all based on agriculture, creating close to 300 jobs, paying an average wage of $22 an hour plus benefits. I mean, that's good money. We're so used to the doomsday people who come along and say, well, this is going to change, it's the end of the world, and we're ruining this and we're ruining that. We are an intelligent race, and therefore, we can solve problems. We can see what's happening, but it's a matter of getting that message out clearly and articulately. Let's not talk about a green kind of vision. Let's talk about the yields. Let's talk about the jobs. Let's talk about the carbon footprint. How can we the circular economy around food production begin? How can we the water from the city to make food for food production? Or can I make tomatoes and energy levels in the city?